morning everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Saturday the 18th of February 2023. It is currently 5.15 in the morning. And today, the only way is Essex. I am making a long trip down to South End United versus Gateshead in the National League. Now, this is going to be no ordinary day at the football. Uh, there is a very real chance that this could be... South End's last ever home game and they have an absolutely horrid time with ownership and uh, debts and what have you at the minute. I mean, obviously, uh, I think we all sincerely hope that it isn't the case that this is the last home game and uh, they will live to fight another day. But uh, it's going to be very interesting to see all the uh, protests and that uh, pre-match. But without further ado, let's get into this. Let's head on down to Essex. So here I am finally in South End and uh, going into this game this afternoon, South End are currently sixth in the National League table and uh, what they've achieved, what those their players and management and what have you have achieved this season under the circumstances is nothing short of sensational really. Um, like you've got to bear in mind these are people that are not being paid on time and that's not just the players and uh, the coaching team whatever, it's the I think it's the regular staff as well. Uh, like they're regularly uh, not being paid on time. I'm not sure if they've received their wages for uh, January of yet. So they've got to give a lot of credit to them. I mean, whatever your feelings towards them as a club are, uh, at the end of the day, these are still real people with uh, with bills to pay, to pay and uh, food to put on the table. So you've got to give credit to them for that. And as for us. Uh, we are still in 21st place, uh, fourth bottom following the other night's two all draw against Oldham, although we, it is only one point now and uh, if we do get a draw today we could move out of the relegation zone depending on other results, uh, bearing in mind that our uh, goal difference is better than Dawkins. Um, so in terms of the football side of it there is a lot sort of riding on it as well, uh, of course if South End were to sadly got a business uh, and the record expunged uh, we would lose the three points we uh, gained against them earlier in the season and uh, you've got to say that game at the international stadium uh, was probably the most surprising result we've had this season I think in terms of performance it, overall performances maybe say it's their second best maybe behind York away uh, but it's gonna be even tougher today uh, I think their players will want to at least uh, give their fans something to shout about in these difficult times uh, not too long from now there's going to be a massive protest along uh, the south end high street which is uh, where i'm at the minute uh, right down to the ground so i'll get a bit of footage on that just to show you uh, exactly what this football club 
means to its supporters and its community, then we will head into Roots Hall to find out how the game will unfold. So here we are, it's a new one off the list. Uh, now that I've got my ticket, I am going to uh, join a protest. <laughs> So the team's warming up, uh, South End getting ready in the far distance, uh, going to be in their usual blue home kit this afternoon. And we're getting ready down here, uh, of course, going to be in our home kit as well. Uh, South End fans, well done with the protest, I uh, really hope you can get things sorted, but for the next 90 minutes, I guess we're enemies. Anyway, let's get into the game.
time, South United won, Gates said nil. Uh, let's just cut straight to the chase. I'm not going to stand here and uh, pretend we're being victimised by the referees because uh, we can have absolutely no complaints about that red card, I'm afraid. Um, it's quite frankly, if he did that in public, uh, he'd be in trouble with the police for it. It's really that straightforward. Uh, it's um, absolutely disgraceful, to be quite honest. I totally not needed either. Um, he's, uh, he's let his teammates down. Uh, he's let himself down. He's let, he's let us that have made this trip down to Essex down. Uh, like, I, I don't want. I, I don't like singling out individual players because I think if we're we're losing, we're losing as a team. But uh, like, what what else can you do? Like, there's there's no hiding from it. Um, I mean, obviously the goal came as a result of an individual mistake. People make mistakes. Um, that's that's life. Uh, you 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 you. you, you, you it's down to yourself to learn from stuff like that but uh, yeah absolutely no excuse with the red card whatsoever um, but I can't say I, f I can't really fault the effort of the rest of the players so far um, obviously that red card came at a time when it looked as though we were maybe starting to get back into the game as well um, obviously passing's been a bit been pretty wayward all, all of that first half uh, South End uh, Keeping a very good shape, uh, playing some nice stuff, uh, getting at us, uh, and yeah, they do deserve to be in the lead. Uh, but I think if we are to nick anything from this game, however unlikely that may seem now, um, like we're gonna have to sort of keep it tight for all that second half, just see if we can sort of hit them, maybe on the break a little bit. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if we can change anything up. Uh, Harrison Clark did okay. I thought at Oldham the other night when he came on, and then. Uh, Will Harris is back on the bench, so uh, it's, just, it's just a question of uh, what do we decide to do. Um, but yeah, uh, not a good first half at all for us there. Uh, we haven't covered ourselves in glory. Full time, South End United won. Gates said nil. Uh, I honestly thought that our players uh, did everything that they possibly could there, and uh, unfortunately, it just wasn't meant to be in terms of uh, finding that all important equaliser. But the bottom line is, uh, we've come up against a team that didn't really let us play as such, but uh, do play good foot good football themselves. Uh, so. Uh, if I'm being totally honest, I wasn't really expecting a great deal from this game today, uh, irrespective of what happened at the international stadium earlier on in the season. Uh, it's, it's frustrating, of course it is, so you never like to lose games of football, uh, especially uh, given the situation that we're in, but uh, it's still very tight, it's still uh, very recoverable. Um, this next week and well, this next month in fact is going to be absolutely massive for us so uh, when you think of uh, some of the games that we've got coming up uh, I mean 
Tuesday night especially is going to be huge. Uh, Oldham one stay, and I think they're maybe starting to get themselves out of it a little bit. So uh, if we're going on Tuesday, maybe knock them back into it a little bit while they're uh, massively helping ourselves, that would be absolutely ideal. Uh, there's uh, gradually more and more teams uh, getting themselves dragged into it, like likes of Yeovil, York, uh, Dorkin, um maybe Maidenhead to a degree as well. So um, we've just got to focus on ourselves, uh, just keep doing our own thing and uh, hopefully uh, the table will uh, just sort itself out over time. I mean, uh, as long as we're 20th or above uh, come maybe say 8 o'clock on Saturday the 29th of April, that's honestly all that matters. Uh, but uh, one uh, final word today, uh, well done South End, uh, like their players honestly like an absolute credit to this league and to themselves uh, they uh, like they don't sort of try and feign injuries or uh, get at the referee or anything like that like they um, they just like what I saw of them today they just came across as a really good honest group of lads that have got on with it and uh, as well it'd be so easy for them to just say no we're not playing until we get paid but uh, they, they carry on uh, they're giving their, their fans at least some something to be positive about and something to look forward to um, there's a few of us Gateshead fans at the end of that game they, they stayed back to clap them off as well as uh, clapping our own players off uh, shaking our players hands etc which we always do at the end of every game um, but yeah they would be horrible to see a club like that uh, just completely go to waste I mean I'm, I'm not having any of this uh, Everton are the worst run club in the country just because they they've lost a few games and they're performing below expectations uh, at the end of the day the losing losing football matches is, is, is now compared to people's livelihoods and stuff like that is it um, so South End uh, well done today and, and uh, good luck that's all I can say um, but that is that for this video and I'll be back on Tuesday night with that big Gateshead versus Oldham Athletic game so until then take care cheers for watching and I will see you later